So Blackmagic Design just released DaVinci Resolve 18.6 and along with that is a new phone app that lets you upload your files directly to the Blackmagic Cloud so that any editor in the world will have their project populate with the clips as soon as you hit stop on here to start working immediately. Oh, there it goes. Now, I've never set this up before. I found out about this 30 minutes ago and I can't wait to try this out. So if you're interested like me, let's see how hard this is to figure out with no instructions at all. So I just logged into cloud.blackmagicdesign to uh, try to get some storage so that I can use the phone. And it looks like they actually give you two gigs right now for free. And you can scale this up. <laughs> it looks like it goes all the way up to a petabyte for uh, $30,000. Uh, no, thank you. I don't need a $30,000 bill. However, I will definitely try this at two gig out. Let's see what happens next. All right, it's active. Let's uh, check this out. So now that we have a two gig account here, I'm logged into cloud.blackmagicdesign.com. It looks like if I go up here to the top, we have more options. So this is a bunch of projects. But if I go to this one, this one's totally new. This is our cloud storage. Let's see if we can figure out how to create a folder. Looks like it's over here on the right. We'll call this one, I always like to date things. So today is 0914 and we'll just, you know, you call everything test right when you get started. So test one, we'll hit save. And now we need to make this available in a cloud project. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that so we can send files directly from our phone into here. Okay, here we go. I want to give this a try. Let's change this to 50 because we're a filmmaker, right? <laughs> this is so cool. We have ISO control, but what I want to figure out is the media storage location. So now I have private storage available. It says no clips, but let's go back to the camera right here. It says it's going to private storage. Let's see what that actually means and does. So I'm recording my first clip right now, and it's gonna go into this iPhone camera demo. Nothing in it right now. Let's stop the recording. And if I check this out, I just switched to the media tab on my phone. It says it's uploading a proxy, which is a setting somewhere around here. There it is, under media, proxies only. So if you wanted to send the originals, you could do that as well but it does not appear to be one upload. Maybe everyone's trying to do this at once right now. Oh, well, that's gone. Why don't I just get another clip? Let's get a nice fancy clip here of my HomePod next to my fancy, fancy Flanders Scientific grading monitor. You know what else I want to see is if I rotate the phone while it's recording, does it flip for me? No, it doesn't. But one thing that is cool is now that I've rotated it, I can still record a landscape video the way video is intended to be, just like that, uh, while holding it vertical. So I like that idea. Okay, I seem to be having some sort of issue with uploading files. Maybe I just suck it up and I try increasing to the minimum size here, which was 500 gigs for $15. Let's see what that does. I'm trying this so you don't have to. <laughs> Money spent out of my own pocket. Let's see, I hope this works. I'm going to hit pause on the phone and resume and see if that'll eventually start kicking up into the storage. No dice yet. Oh, you know what? Stuff is going in now. Check this out. I'm seeing, I'm seeing camera uploads go straight into my private storage account. If I come back over to here, nothing is in the project yet automatically. So there must be another setting as I see here on the phone that the files have been uploaded. Yeah, that's awesome. Check that out, they're in there. Question is, how do I now import them to go straight into the project? Let's figure that out next. So I think I found down in the lower right corner of right here, I think this is where you enable the files that you record with your phone to come into the project. So I'm just figuring this out along with you. So there's multi-user collaboration right here, and then we've got something that looks like a camera. So enable, disable camera capture, I think we want that one. But let's just see what else we got. Okay, yeah, I think we'll take enable, disable camera capture. Let's say allow, it says allow remote cameras to see this project and to load media directly into the DaVinci media pool. Sweet. 
say allow, and I guess we'll find out what happens next. <laughs> oh man, this is a different sort of video for me. I don't even know what's going to happen. Okay, well I'm looking at my phone right now, and my phone shows that I have five clips that are in the cloud, but I don't see, you know, if I create a new bin, does it do anything? Nope, man, nothing really is happening. What I'm wondering is if on the phone app, I have to do something here to get it to the right project. This is a, this has got me puzzled. I, I normally figure things out pretty easily. Maybe this has something to do with the order of operations. So I'm going back to my project manager. So I'm filming this, doing a new project, which is, again, this is the brand new Create Cloud project. And sync the proxies only. And we do want to allow, this is a big one down here, do allow remote camera access. And create. I got no, no files up inside of there. I figured it out. It took me a second. So I needed to get my cloud storage stuff set up first. So if you haven't done that yet, if we take a look on here now, now I'm seeing the 0914 test two to choose for my clips. I'm wondering, can I move the clips I just recorded into there? Let's find out. I don't see a way. I don't know if there's a way to do that. I guess we'll find out <laughs> over the next uh, next little day. But um, for now, I think what you do is you select this first, then you go to the camera. Grant Petty was saying something about that. So now I can see up there at the top of the screen, it says the project is going into. So this is my 0914 test for September 14th. This is 2023. I'll hit record on my phone and it's going three seconds, five seconds. Let's hit stop. And I'm gonna start a new one right now. And while that one has stopped, I'm really curious, <laughs> am I gonna see a clip ending up in my bin? as it creates the proxy and uploads it to Blackmagic Cloud. Is it going to end up, oh, there it goes, <laughs> real time. It was about, what is that, 16 seconds? I'm going to hit stop on this clip right here, set my phone down. Uh, you can see I've got two clips there in my media pool on my phone. It creates a folder automatically called camera uploads, it looks like. And look at, oh, I love this. Look at this file name that it made. Now, it's all flying. Maybe it's still trying to sync. Oh, I know what it is. Is it this proxy is not available? Nope. Preferred camera originals. It still doesn't have either of those yet. However, the project does know it's looking for a clip. So and maybe it's just the clip hasn't downloaded yet. But let's take these suckers, right click, say create a new timeline with them. And we got two offline clips. So as soon as these download, I'm assuming I'll have them ready to work with. I just had to dig around a little bit more. Like all things, a lot of things are in the project settings. Down at the bottom of project settings, there's a Blackmagic Cloud uh, tab here in 18.6, and there's a folder location that I had set to Movies folder. Well, unfortunately, I thought this was gonna make a new you know, camera originals folder in here for me. It did not. Um, but it does make a folder in here the same name as the uh, project name. You can see 0914 test2, test2. And we do have those media files. They did automatically download in here. So let's just see if we can get these linked up. Actually, if you just hit this button right here, this relink button, we hit locate and we point it into there. Let's see what happens. Boom, <laughs> just like that. Gotta love this new relink button. If you're not familiar with that one, it's really handy. And I've got clips that were shot directly with my phone sent to Blackmagic Cloud. They auto-populated here in the app, and uh, I've got proxies of them to work with. If you want to switch to camera originals and you have them available, you do that right up in here. Uh, in fact, it I guess it thinks those are camera originals for whatever reason. Um, so maybe that's something else that I need to figure out more. So I gotta admit, that was a little bit more difficult to set up than I thought was gonna be the case, especially for someone that's pretty technically minded like myself. So watch for a new tutorial in the future and I'll get more to the point. Um, but I hope you found me struggling on something like this uh, entertaining and I hope you have a great day.